Hey YouTube, USA Second Amendment here with another video for you guys. Um, as you can tell uh, by the title, this is a Car Arms uh, CW380. Uh, this is a gun I've been wanting for a little while, and uh, I was uh, it was a gift, basically. Um, uh, well, the money was a gift. Uh, somebody gave me some money and said I could do what I wanted with it, and uh, uh, so I decided to buy a, a gun that I've been wanting. So uh, anyway, let's get right into it. Um, so this one's a little bit different than your standard car or CW380. As you can see here, it says CW380 and then it says burnt bronze. So in here, CW3833BB, 3, 3, 3, BB B is the burnt bronze. Um, I saw this a while ago on Gun Broker. Um, I actually ended up getting this from Bud's Gun Shop. Uh, great, great, uh, uh, transactions and dealings with Bud's Gun Shop. If you don't know them or haven't seen them, go check them out. It's literally, it's BudsGunShop.com. Um, anyway, uh, let me get right into it. So you open up the box. There's this layer of foam on top. I'll set that to the side. Um, you get your, you know, your standard paperwork and stuff that comes in the boxes. There you go for car arms slide release tip so uh, for those of you that don't know cars are very tight very very tight um, they require a lot of break-in this was my FFL my transfer um, they requ require a lot of break-in uh, about 250 rounds to break this puppy in and you'll see why in a second but first let me show you what else is in the box and we'll get to the gun so this came in the box I'm not 100% sure what this is for, but I'm guessing it's for uh, disassemble or something. There's a pin here. Or I say disassemble, maintenance work maybe. I don't know. I'll have to read the manual on that. Um, but that was in there. And then this, this is the most stupid thing ever. This is our government at work. So I open up this little box, right? And you take it out. There you go. A lock. Why? Because every stinking gun has to come with a lock. So stupid. That's our freaking politicians for you. Anyway, I digress. Put that over there. Alright, let's get to the gun. I have not shot it yet. I have not cleaned it yet. This is exactly how it came to me. I have opened it already, but this is exactly how it came to me. There you go. Proudly made in the USA. Oh, yeah. There's the flag. I love that. Absolutely love it. All right, let's get you guys some close-up shots of it here. There you go. There you can see some of the factory oil on it up top. You see that? Like I said, I haven't cleaned it yet. Just sort of showing you around the gun. At my FFL, they actually had the P380, which if those of you uh, know what that is, the P380 is the uh, supposed to be the more uh, the high-end version of this same gun. It actually has the same frame. It just has like a match-grade barrel, and the slide's a little bit different cut on it. But anyway, uh, they had the P380, so I pulled that out, and the guy at the shop did too, and we set them up side by side, okay, and we looked at the barrel here, or I'm sorry, at the slide, and this one, the CW380, the cheaper one, actually has this cone-shaped slide, which helps with holstering and not snagging, whereas the more expensive one didn't. So, to me, that's a plus. Another plus, this burnt bronze. Phenomenal. I love that burnt bronze. Just really makes it pop. And then, uh, here, let me give you guys a sight picture here. So there you go. For a 380, these are actually really good sights. And then the trigger, ready? The trigger, let's see if you guys can see this. All right, here we go. Ready? Good. Reset is all the way out. There it was, click, and back. This trigger is awesome. Probably the best 
uh, 380 trigger I've ever felt. Um, and maybe one of the best striker fire triggers. Um, I'm not saying it's the best striker fire trigger, but it's one of the best. Um, this trigger I love. It's a metal trigger. It's flat. It's smooth. Let's see if you guys can see that. Get you real good detail. If I can get it to focus here. There we go. Super trigger. This trigger reminds me of a revolver. So if you think a double action revolver, that's exactly what this trigger reminds me of. Uh, the magazine. Okay, it comes with one magazine. Comes with one magazine, okay. There you guys go. You see it says 386, so it holds 6 plus 1. And these magazines are not cheap. Uh, my FFL had extra ones. I didn't get an extra one. Um, and uh, they were like 40 bucks. Um, the reason I didn't get an extra one, the purpose of this gun is a bug gun. Now, some of you are like, a bug gun? What is a bug gun? A bug is a backup gun. Literally, B-U-G, backup gun. Um, so the whole purpose of me wanting this gun is because it is super small. It's 380, so in this configuration the uh the recoil should be very manageable and uh um i'm gonna have it for ankle carry and or pocket carry i won't carry this in a regular holster outside the waistband inside the waistband i'm not doing that that's not what this is for i have my main carry guns for that purpose this is simply my backup gun uh when i wear a suit um it's very hard for me to carry my regular uh everyday firearm, um, which usually is a Glock 26, uh, or a SIG SP 2022, uh, depending on what I'm wearing and if it's hot or cold. Um, but anyway, so when I'm wearing a suit, I have no way of carrying a gun. Um, so that's going to solve this. This is, will be my carry gun when I'm wearing a suit. Um, which is not very often, but it's, it's often enough to warrant me wanting to get a gun. Um, and then also, uh, pocket carry. Um, I don't know how often I'll actually pocket carry it, but, uh, you know, I'm sure I will at, uh, at some point. So, um, anyway, uh, what else? I think that's about it. I think you guys have pretty much seen everything. Super thin grip here. I mean, just super thin. Let me show you it in the hand. Now, with this grip, you got to understand your pinky's going to hang off. That does not bother me at all. In fact, I almost prefer that. Um, I just get a really good grip, a really good purchase on it. Some people hate it. I like it. So, But you can see the size. Very small. Perfect, perfect backup gun. Perfect backup gun. So there we go. All right, guys. It's just sort of an unboxing for you. Stay tuned. I'm going to have some follow-up videos once I break it in, get some shots done with it, and uh, once I get my holster in for it um, and uh, all that, my ankle holster I'm talking about. But, uh, yeah, if you guys have any questions or comments, leave them below. Um, if you haven't picked up a car pistol, I highly recommend it. Um, pick it up and just pull the trigger, and, I mean, it's amazing. And all the cars have that trigger. Um, just a great, great, smooth revolver feeling trigger. Um, so anyway, all right, guys, thanks for watching.